Jodie Whittaker's decision to step away from the TARDIS and BBC's Doctor Who was confirmed back in 2021 with her final scenes set to air in a handful of 2022 specials. Along with showrunner Chris Chibnall, the pair have stayed true to their three years and out pact which has opened the door for another star to take on the iconic role. A number of famous faces are currently in the running to land the part, so Express.co.uk caught up with former star Ben Bailey-Smith to see who he'd like to see step into the doctor's shoes. Ben took on the role of Dirk as Cicero opposite Jodie's doctor back in season 11 in episode The Saranga Conundrum, so knows firsthand just how well Jodie was in the part. But who does he think could take over? He joked to Express.co.uk, I'm annoyed I'm not in the conversation, laughs. He went on, I mean, I probably can't be because I've been a character on Doctor Who now. But, you know, the way I see that character is it's someone who's this really interesting. 50-50 it's really cool and really not cool, you know what I mean? Ben took on the role of Dirk as Cicero opposite Jodie's Time Lord back in season 11 in the episode The Saranga Conundrum, so knows firsthand just how well she has been in the part. But who does he think could take over? He joked to Express.co.uk, I'm annoyed I'm not in the conversation, laughs. He went on, I mean, I probably can't be because I've been a character on Doctor Who now. But, you know, the way I see that character is it's someone who's this really interesting, 50-50 it's really cool and really not cool, you know what I mean? Describing his perfect doctor, Ben continued, like, there, really able, an alpha kind of hero, and like really geeky. And that's kind of, that's how I kind of see myself, you know, laughs. I'll tell you what, Jody absolutely smashed it but when you look at the doctors, they've all got a bit of that. David Tennant, Terry's something really cool about him and Terry's something really geeky about him, Jody's the same. Ben added, you can trace the doctors back, apart from, Christopher, Eccleston, I think they all had a bit of that, like has just too cool, and, too brooding. What's the geeky side of him? Has like hardcore. Ben went on to commend Jodie for her stint in the iconic role, insisting she was the perfect choice to take on the time-traveling and dimension-leaping character. Jodie, is the perfect doctor, he praised. I know people got their knickers in a twist because she's a woman, but it's like, to me the doctor can morph into anything, right? So it's really stupid to start talking about gender or race. The thing that I think is important is that they should have that half and half, half kind of cool problem solver, half weirdo, geek kind of nerdy thing. That for me is the doctor, Ben concluded. A few years on from his role on Doctor Who, Ben is now starring in Apple TV's Suspicion as well as serving as a judge for this year's Oscars Book Prize. Now in its ninth year, the award was set up by James Ashton and Viveka Alvestrand to celebrate magical stories for children in memory of their son Oscar, who was three and a half when he died from a heart condition in December 2012.
Ben, who's also released his own children's books, said of landing the judging role, the guys at Oscars Book Prize reached out to me and I read about the background about this lovely little boy who passed away way too early, who loved books. And I mean, I don't think he'd be unique in saying that touched me on a level. But I guess I am unique in that I have a close relationship with a lot of kids from a lot of different backgrounds across the country. And I have a background in writing for the For the Age group, so it was kind of a no-brainer.